All righty. All right, welcome everybody. <clears throat> this is episode 20. Let me make sure I'm on multi stream chat. All right, welcome everybody. This is episode 20 of the Minecraft Sky Factory 4. The intentions here. Ooh. An overclocked phaser rifle. Cool, cool. The intention here today is I want to. I think finish the farm area around here. I want to get the uh, the marine slabs and blocks taken care of. Also, I want to see about progressing towards power. Sorry, I have the hiccups. <laughs> Excuse me. Try not to try not to hiccup. So, all right. Oops, not lava gen. What's it called? Magma? No. Geothermal. Love when they put these weird names. Okay. Because we need a geothermal generator. And then we're going to need... We're going to need a power cable, a geothermal... We're going to want to upgrade the geothermal, but that requires black concrete powder. Which black has a couple of ways. Pulverized coal. We can grindstone coal to get pulverized coal, and that should work. Okay. <clears throat> so if we go. Clear that. Okay. Kitty! Hi, come here! Thank you. There's a kitty cat. Come here, bud. Come here. Oh my gosh, the cat's just gonna sit there and whine at me. Hang on, I might need to give him some water, otherwise he's not gonna stop. Please hold, I shall return. The cat has summoned me. The whiny floof has been appeased. I return. Hopefully he's been appeased. If not, this is going to be a very, <laughs> a very hard stream. All right. Okay. So what I need right now is I need sand, gravel, And then I need black concrete powder. Like that. And then black concrete powder is used with this, which I should have. <clears throat> I don't have the iron. Okay, let's go like this. Let's grab the black concrete powder and give it a spot inside the system real quick. Um, Black concrete powder, concrete powder, coal. Coal. What do you have? Two, four, six, seven. There we go. Black concrete powder. Cool. We need iron. A lot of iron, which we should have quite a bit. Yeah, there we go. Iron, iron, iron. Oh, not that. You. Bam. 32 of them. Perfect. That's modified components. Modified components can be turned into speed modifiers as well, which are useful. Okay, so we... Whoa, no, not that. We need 
Oh, now that's not in the system. See, that's the one issue with the computer system the way it is with this, is that it wants everything that has a storage. There is a way around that, but it's kind of complicated because then you still end up filling a bunch of random storages with stuff. And I'm, I'm not always able to get it to pu push and pull correctly through that system. So we'll see. I, I, I might try it later on, but we'll see. Okay, so we need a geothermal generator, this one. Problem is that means we need magma blocks. Was it two or four? I forget. Geothermal. Only two. Okay, that's not as bad. Iron cauldron won't go in because there's nowhere to put it. You and then we just need... I was about to say, there should be some furnaces here. Cool. Furni. Cool. So we got a furnace. We'll go with an... Oh, pardon me. We'll go with the advanced furnace. Okay, we have an upgradable geothermal generator now. We then need to take these guys. <sighs> My inventory's full of crap. And basically grab as many of these as we can. What was it that we needed for that? Gold? We need gold. Gold, clear. Do we have any extra gold? We do. We have a lot of extra gold. Sweet. Whoa. Making messes. There we go. All right. Right click with this. Make this. Shift click. Bam. 28. And now we need more of the modified components. Modifier components, but we can get to that later. The key thing here is that we now have a geothermal generator. Now, I gotta remember how I built this. Where's my slime? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Gelatin gelatinous slime block. There we go. Okay, let's see here. So, we need a cobblestone generator <clears throat> that's upgraded. We need an item conduit. We need an automatic user. Sorry, I'm doing the math in my head for how that works. Because it's, it's something like, oh. We're going to do it on this side. We're going to do it over here. Yeah, we're going to build it on this side. Because that way I can just run power cables right here through this wall and do those two corners for the power needed stuff. Okay, so here's our generator. We're going to go... I always got to remember how to do this. This part's a little confusing. F7, where's my torches? I don't have any torches. Here, give me that. It's also nighttime. Let's fix that. There. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is we have... <clears throat> so we need lava. We need lava. We need power. Okay, so we need a power... Power... Energy cable. This guy this guy okay okay so first things first i don't know if we have any droppers left we do not did i have any droppers no i do have fluid extraction cables though so that's good we're gonna need those okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna grab a cobble and we're gonna go like four maybe five let's do five i think I already had one. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay, so we got five of these. These require a thingy under them. One side is going to have a user. It's going to require power. Okay, so we're going to go... One, two, three, four five like that but 
I want to do this with where's my bucket? Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to establish some I'm trying to establish some geothermal power real quick. There are other ways to do this, but this is the way that I found to do it that I like best. Where's my bucket? Excuse me. Oh, it's on my freaking. <laughs> it's there. It's there. <laughs> I have it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We're going to go water, and then I'm going to grab these guys. Okay. Put that there. Climb back out. Like that. Okay. So we're going to go underneath like that. We're going to come over here and we're going to put this water back. We don't need that water. We do need some lava. We're going to throw some lava over here underneath this. You can technically do torches, but lava is more fun. Yeah, so. Still technically not source blocks. I like having the source blocks just because they look nicer. Where's my cobble? I need some cobble. Good, sir. Cobble. Cool. I used up all my lava. The nice thing is this thingy that I'm making will give us an option for more lava. And I can always run it like down and under over to this if I need to. See, the original idea was to build this right here so that it could go here. But at the same time, there's lava that's going to be produced here, but then there's going to be power that's needed over here. I don't know. Either one works. Either one works. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, <clears throat> so we have these guys here. We're going to go fluid extraction on top. Like that. And then I require one fluid cable. Oops. The problem is I'm pretty sure this requires bricks. Yeah. Which I have not necessarily been producing up to this point. So do we have brick? Ooh. We do not. Do we have clay? A little bit. Okay. Okay, so we need to cook all this real quick. Oh, dear. Okay. Pull all you out. Put you there. Go halvesies. And go halvesies. There we go. Because we need clay so that we can make these cables real quick. And then at this point, what we're going to do... Oh, I need the last one here. Okay, so the idea of how I'm building this is like this. So we're going to have what's called a user. Automated user, this guy, this is what we need. Problem is you require a dispenser, which I do not. Can I use a damaged bow to make that or does it have to be a healthy bow? Let's find that out. So if we come here real quick and go user. It does not count. Okay. All right, so I need a bow. I need a healthy bow. One healthy bow. Realistically, I should have done more, but don't tell anyone because, you know. Okay, one dispenser. Yeah, we should have done more because we're going to need more, but I have a ton of crap in my inventory that I have not yet sorted out. There we go. Go like that and clean that up. Okay. Organize. Automated user. We're going to need five. Five automated users. So let's get more dispensers. We're going to need more bows. Come on. There we go. Okay. Sweet. This guy. Hey, what is this other? What is this other object that we're missing? Why are they doing that? Good sir, you have the resources. You don't have to be a butt. It is a butt, but it doesn't need to be. Why the heck? There we go. 
just a bunch of those because we're going to need we're going to need a handful. OK, we need more ma magma blocks. We had two excess. We're going to need more than that. Yeah, so give me more of you. More of you. That's five. Perfect. OK, and then we're going to need. Ooh, we need a lot of obsidian, though. Um, How much obsidian do we have excess at the moment? We have five. That's not enough. Okay. The cool thing is this this process that we're doing right now is going to automatically generate lava for us, and then we don't have to worry about it. So, <clears throat> like we'll have a we'll be able to throw a, a lava bucket or like this tank right here. We'll be able to throw one of those like right here on the end, and we'll have infinite lava generation from this system. It's just kind of annoying to get set up initially. Okay, so we require... We need those bricks that we are cooking. Thank you. Turn all of that into bricks. Turn all of that into stairs. Oh, dear. It's enough for one, but not for two. Darn. Okay, we'll have to wait for more. Okay, so these are energy cables. We're missing something there. We need a dropper. And one weighted pressure. There we go. So then here we're going to go energy extraction cable. And then we're going to go. Oh, come on. Up. And then we're going to run these across the top as well like that and then we're going to require one more fluid extraction cable as well so let's go look at that fluid extraction cable i never added you to Dro dropper and dispensers never got added to the system we should probably add both of those because we're going to need a fair amount oh my heck this music i need to swap over to the other thingy so i can get past that that drives me nuts okay I'm using a playlist currently that is one track. It's like a two and a half hour track of just Minecraft music. And that's currently what I'm using. And I need to get off of that. Hey, Cotton. You're so helpful. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we got that going there. How are we doing here? Not bad. Okay. So this looks good so far. We needed the obsidian for the users. These are kind of doing... Is that enough for two? Yes. Also, for some reason, this liquid translocator it did not stick. Weird. Okay. That gives us 15, which is perfect. That's exactly how many we need for this. The problem is... We don't have enough... Is it like that? Oh, we have exactly enough. Oh, nice. Okay. These are called automated users. Automated users, basically, if are if they are powered... Oh, dear. I hope I can get to where I want these. Oh, come on. Like that. So, basically, the way automated users work is they behave like a, a player clicking. That's, that's how they work. So, the automated users, they behave as if a player is clicking with their finger. Like, doing that. Okay? And you can set how, what the tick delay is, and then like the area. Oh, interesting. I don't think we can fill it fast enough to make a better change in size there. Yeah. So the hard part here is initially we're going to need a little bit of lava. Just to start powering these initially, right? Because these guys have got to get enough for at least a single cycle. Oh, that reminds me. Let us... No, no. But these in here, so that it, the speed modifiers increase how fast it can, this can, so this has a cycle of how fast it burns lava in order to create power. The speed modifiers greatly increase that. Now, what we're going to end up doing is, there's two ways to do it. The one is like, and I got to check and see, I got to remember how this works. Because I think you can technically... Oh, yeah, this is why I don't usually do this with lava. I usually just do torches under. 
Lava is more fun by far. But it's also significantly messier. Okay, let me grab some torches real quick. Reminds me I need to put another one of these over in there. Okay. Torch. Yes, I have 52 torches. Cool. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we want to go just like that for the moment. I like the lava better because it's cool. No! I placed it on the wrong block. Gosh dang it. Oh! Oh, I have pearls. Hang on. Um. Two K string. <laughs> nice. Put all of that away. Elevators, baby. All right. I love elevators. Okay. We're gonna go right here, and we're gonna slap down this with a torch and then we're gonna go over here and go down like this place that in the wrong spot and it's really annoying okay i chose this one here so this is an elevator allows me to teleport up and down okay now over there is where i placed that stupid block in the wrong spot do i have cobblestone on me i do not Oh, that's the other thing. I never placed a crafting table over here. So I need to work on that as well. Okay, let me grab some cobble. Cobble slabs. There we go. Come over here and go down. And then we're going to head this way. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I just want to build a small platform underneath this. So if I accidentally drop my diamond cobblestone generator, I will hopefully catch it. Because if I drop it, I will be sad. More annoyed than anything, just because you don't want to lose an expensive item like that. Okay. There. You know what? Let's just finish this platform across here. Usually, in the long, long term, I will um, mirror the upstairs with the downstairs so that it's like the same, but we'll see. Okay, so in theory, this here is loading. Yep. But it's not running there, so let's go. There we go. So what's happening here... these fluids full okay that fluids full but we need one more fluid cable so we need one fluid cable and then we need one we need one of these Oops, which i need that does have a ah there yeah give me one of these <clears throat> and then i need one of these which we are waiting on the brick for so okay table that go away not you why is that in my inventory i just realized hello i require a fluid cable yep give me that give me that come over here dump the binding for some reason there was a binding in my inventory okay so here's what we're missing we need there we go wow it's loud when it starts Now, if I remember right, I think we can do... These are what? Those are energy. If I remember right, I think we can get away with item cables. Item cable. The purple one. Yeah, this guy. Oop, we need one more. Here. Yeah, give me those. Give me that. Oh, and then this one also takes bricks. Good grief. Okay, I need... Clay. Turn all that off, please. We require the clay. We need a bunch of clay. Bye-bye. Ooh, oh, elevators. I was like, how come this isn't fitting? 
crap out of my... Really? I don't have quartz in the system yet? That's strange. Okay. Put one of you there. Put one of you there. Yep. Grab me that. Grab me that. Okay, so quartz, apparently we have it, but it's not in the system. Ah, it's because it's not in the system yet. Okay, good to know. We'll need to move that in. We also have emerald. We'll need to move that in as well. Cool, cool. All right, so currently we just need a little bit of brick. We need enough brick to make one more set of stairs, which we need is three more cycles. No, six more cycles. Okay, so basically what we're doing here... Um, let's do it from the downstairs. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're looking for a way. We're looking for a way to get cobblestone. And this is the part I always forget. There's... I want to say you can technically do it by using the... You can either item cable across the bottom here, or you just throw more cobble generators across the bottom. Either one works. If I'm going to do the cobble gen, though, I need another bucket. It's a little excessive, but it's okay. Not a not a huge issue. So. All right, let's grab some water. Yeah, so if we come here and go uh, cobble gen. Ooh, wait. Yeah, see, like that. And then you just do one water. Why is there never enough? Why is the rum always gone? Oh, hang on. Is my inventory too full? It is too full. I have all kinds of crap. Yeah, see, because technically we can come over here like this. And this bucket, or this should fill up with lava too. At least in theory it should. Oh, I did not want all that lava. Pardon me. I wanted a bucket of the lava. Bam. Okay. Hello, Mr. Pig. We need another cobble gen. This time it's not pulling that side. Ugh, gotta love it. All right, grab me the buckets. We require iron. We require diamond. Ooh, we do not have the diamonds. Diamonds. Diamonds in the sky. Where are you at? There you are. Stop filling it with elevator blocks. What is wrong with you? Okay, so we now need cobble gen diamond. 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 Yeah. So basically what you can do is you can come over here with these guys and just keep filling these along. You go... Because for each... Yeah, see, there we go. Now it's filling up. Because for each one of these that you have, each one of these can produce lava. And each one of these is feeding the cobblestone in to make the lava, right? So it's just a simple little machine like this. And this is going to give us infinite power and infinite lava. And then I'll have the power come off the bottom there and, and feed into stuff. But anyway, if you look, see, this is going to fill up with lava, which will be nice. I am short two cobble gens, though, for that. Yeah. Just to finish the design here. Yeah, so let's go with two more. Oop, come on. One more, and then we're done. We can also build the obsidian generator right here on this corner. Oh, golly. I'm kind of cramming it in there kind of tight. It, it'll it'll fit. It's just going to be <laughs> not very space... Um, not space pretty, that's for sure. Okay. So that gives us two of those. Give me the buckets. We require... That one, and that one, and then these ones. Cool. 
all right.